You have been watching Wisconsin Women shooting on location here at the beautiful BR Diamond Suite in Madison. We have had such a wonderful time here and we have gotten all blinged out. We are so grateful to you guys for having us here. Yes. Thank you so much. This is Sarah Kale. She's actually the Director of Marketing and Merchandise here at BR Diamond Suite. And we're so glad to have you today because we are going to be talking about bridal trends and jewelry. <laughs> it's that season coming up. Mm -hmm. So exciting. Um, before we get into that though, this seems like such an amazing place to work. How did it all get started for you here? So it's actually a funny story. I am a multi-generational client of BR Diamond Suite. So it's been a part of my life for Aww. my entire life, actually. Um, and I'm from the area, obviously. Mm -hmm. And after I graduated from UW-Madison in business and marketing, I got reconnected with Joe Hoffman, who is one of the co-owners here. Mm -hmm. And we were talking and then just decided that this would be the perfect fit for me to come on as director of marketing and merchandise. And it's been almost five years, but it's it's been wonderful and I've had the pleasure of wearing many hats here obviously in marketing and then also designing jewelry with my art background has been phenomenal be able to explore that creative side and then also being able to help my close friends and their future fiancés design very meaningful pieces for them uh, engagement rings wedding bands everything and anything and it's been wonderful oh, I oh love it you gosh. must love your work oh, oh absolutely yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. like a perfect yes. fit yes oh my goodness it definitely was um and I've just been very grateful for the opportunities here and like I said I've just been able to wear many different hats so it's been very exciting every day is mm -hmm. a new day here and it's all very different I get to meet a lot of wonderful oh, people too yeah. so oh my yeah. gosh oh I bet mm -hmm. and being like the director of merchandise and marketing mm -hmm. right oh mm -hmm. my goodness what a great <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. This is perfect for you yeah. oh my gosh do you see any trends in jewelry or in weddings coming up yeah, so 2022, you know, we're seeing a lot of different trends coming up. Mm -hmm. Obviously, 2022 is the year of the wedding, yeah. which I believe Joe talked about with you yeah. last time yeah. he was yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I myself have a very unique perspective because I am a 2022 bride. So oh, I know, yeah. it's very <laughs> exciting for me. So not only am I looking at this through the lens of the director of marketing and my marketing research, but I'm also, you know, kind of taking on the perspective as a bride myself mm -hmm. and what different trends of jewelry that I'm responding to and how I want to design and curate my own bridal collection to wear throughout mm. my time as a bride right. and create oh, yeah. those heirloom pieces here at BR Diamond Suite, much like the earrings that you're wearing today. Right. I love those. Oh, those are gosh. so gorgeous. Yes. 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 I wore a similar yeah. style for my engagement photos. Oh, okay. And we've been designing a lot of fabulous pieces for brides here. And okay. we've been noticing with 2022, like I said before, it's mm -hmm. the year of the wedding. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing a lot of transitions from those small, micro weddings or sim like civil ceremonies mm -hmm. or elopements to the larger gatherings yeah. again. So we're seeing Yay. that kind of similar transition in jewelry to a much more grandiose kind of style, yes. modern glam, statement earrings, you know, just a little bit more of a bold look yeah. to kind of go along with those bigger mm -hmm. gatherings. So right. that's been really fun to design oh and curate the collection for 2022 based on those transitions and trends. Yeah. I love wow. everything you just said. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. It's fun so research true. to do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I love these. These are also yours. You, yeah. we, we have all yeah. the, the drop down pearls. pearls. Is that how you, oh, is yes. that what they're called? So there? this is kind of a drop pearl. It's okay. a modern twist to the traditional pearl, which is obviously a very mm -hmm. bridal look to it. Yeah. Pearls mm -hmm. are so timeless, but we're right. seeing um, a transition from that classic take to a more modern twist, like mm -hmm. these drop pearls, or just a bigger, bolder looks, like I mentioned before. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, you gosh. know, when we're talking about trends, it's making me think about like fashion, you know, mm -hmm. how things come back around. Like yeah. recently, it's been the 90s. 90s, yes. everything. Yes. 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 everywhere. Mm -hmm. Is Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love the 90s, right? <laughs> You know, is jewelry like that too? Are things coming back around? I think we've talked about before, like yellow gold is coming back. Yes, in. Like yellow gold is mm -hmm. huge. Yeah. I myself love yellow gold. I think it complements my skin tone quite mm -hmm. a bit. So when I was looking to design, you know, my own collection of jewelry and start my heirloom pieces, yellow gold is a very big thing for myself. It's very classic and, you know, it's one of those things that comes back around. It's just mm -hmm. like fashion jewelry mm -hmm. is. It, it has that kind of rotation in popularity 
popularity. And, you know, we've seen a lot of the dainty styles in the past, but what we're seeing now, much like the 90s trends coming back, it's all about the bold looks yeah. and bringing back the yellow gold and yes. having that rich tone of gold is just fabulous. It really makes the pearls stand out. Like right. yeah. I love those on you. Oh, I do. Yeah. I <laughs> love these. Great. Once I tried these on, I thought that as well. <laughs> yeah, right there. <laughs> right. Before we go here, I want to mention too that you are hosting a wedding event. This is yes. Saturday, April 8th. Um, Saturday, um, Saturday Night. April 9th, Saturday, yes. April 9th. Okay. Yep. and we, mm -hmm. you know, are normally open on Saturday mornings from 9 until noon, but Saturday, April 9th, for our special wedding event, we are holding extended hours, okay. so we'll be here from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. that day, and this event will consist of, you know, delicious hors d'oeuvres, mimosas, sweet yes. treats, and it's a perfect opportunity for wedding couples to come in together, get some inspiration for wedding bands and what they want to design, and also inspiration for gifts or for accessories for the bride herself mm -hmm. or uh, different you know accessories for her attendants her bridesmaids uh -huh. mother of the bride mother of the groom or if you have a formal event coming up soon that's a perfect opportunity to see our brand new collection oh, of great. 2022 nice. jewelry here mm -hmm. um, it's specifically curated for brides and special big events coming oh, up great yes oh, so wonderful. it's going to be great. and you get there's going to be uh enter and door prizes and complimentary in-store credit of 50 dollars on any oh. custom wedding band order yeah, yeah. so great. if you place a okay. custom wedding band order that day then you will get that complimentary 50 dollars in-store credit towards a bridal accessory so it's like I said the perfect opportunity for couples to come in together oh, and get ideas right. and then also figure out the rest of your accessories to go along with your wedding day oh, oh thank yeah. you so thank much you. Thank, thank you for thanks having for, me oh, thanks <laughs> for having us as yeah. well it's so, <laughs> so nice seeing you and thanks for joining us I'm Lee Aker with Stacey Hansen and thanks for watching